I'm scared that I won't know true happiness. I'm scared that I won't know true beauty or love. It feels like a failure when you're going through it. And I think back to all the amount of time I've probably spent suffering hours of my life wasted. How did Scarlett stop Chris from making the biggest mistake of his life? You're an incredible, I'm not gonna say hopeless romantic. You're ridiculous. Take it back. <laughs> so I'm sure no one played a stuntman from when you had to kiss Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> no, that was me. I got this one, guys. Can you show me your abs? Yes, please. <laughs> Enjoy working together. This it seems like you do. What a diva. Can't stand her. And how did their friendship teach them a powerful lesson about love? I know him very well. Too well. A very beautiful girl. It's, it's, it's not a bad day at work. Any moment I have to get close to Chris Evans. The love is just unbelievable. It's very overwhelming. What's preventing me from being truly happy? Scarlett and Chris met on set, but their journeys getting there were very different. Scarlett Johansson, nine. When you're auditioning that much, as much as I did when I was a kid, you get rejected most of the time. I was very competitive. I felt like it was their loss. While Scarlett had been in films since she was a child, Chris was anxious and inexperienced. So terrified before auditions. For any movie you book, there's probably dozens of rejections and that, that can play on you. So you start to kind of put pressure on yourself. As the two formed a bond, Scarlett's confidence and drive inspired Chris. But while acting was their passion, Chris had a different dream than Scarlett. I consider myself to be a, a very romantic guy. I don't know where it originates from. I love things. I love things passionately. Chris was madly in love with Jessica Biel and ready to settle down. He's madly in Chris wants to be a daddy. Chris does want to be a daddy. So yeah. But when Jessica left him and moved on with Justin Timberlake, Chris was crushed. So he reunited with Scarlett to live out his romantic dream on screen. She's a good friend of mine. And kissing scenes can sometimes be strange when you don't know the person. So our level of comfort and the fact that we can but you'll cut and we kind of laugh about it, makes it a bit easier. We know each other so well also that uh, I think it adds a fun dynamic to our relationship on the screen. This time, it was Scarlett who found love with fellow actor Ryan Reynolds. Now you're engaged to be married. It's nice to feel wanted and it's nice to be romance. But once they got married, Scarlett soon realized it wasn't the right match. And while she flourished in her career, her marriage collapsed. Scarlett told Vogue, it was devastating. This was something I never thought I would be doing. It's like like the loneliest thing you'll ever do. Heartbroken and alone, Scarlett returned to the one place she felt safe, while Chris struggled with a life-changing decision of his own. You were initially reluctant to be Captain America, though. That's a scary loss of control that I just wasn't ready to process. And so I said no. I was saying no out of fear, really. Longing for the comfort from her friend, Scarlett helped Chris take a chance on himself. To feel comfortable taking risks and know that it's sometimes you fail and, and then when you win, it's awesome. It's, it's, it started to feel like maybe the thing you're most scared of is exactly what you should do. Maybe this is actually what you should push yourself into. And I said, let's go for it. Working on the Marvel series together only strengthened their friendship. But when Scarlett started a family, Chris watched her live out his dream. But you just had a child. How old is she now? Uh, she's going to be eight months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wonderful and exhausting. You know, the love is just unbelievable. It's very overwhelming. So when Chris found love again, he was desperate to make it last. Chris is here supporting you today. What's so great about having him out here? Kind of feels like I got my dream seventh grade boyfriend. She's the best. But the more Chris tried to force things to work out, the messier the relationship became. Chris Evans and actress Jenny Slate have broken up after less than a year of dating. Are Chris Evans and Jenny Slate back together? Recent signs point to yes. Meanwhile, Scarlett's family was falling apart. Hansen and husband Roman Dariak split after just two years of marriage. It feels like a failure when you're going through it. Terrified of more heartbreak, Scarlett was ready to give up on love. But Chris wouldn't let her listen to the negative voices in her head. We are not our thoughts. You know, we all have to realize that the things that go on in our brain is not our true identity. I'm hanging in. I'm, I'm resilient. I'm back to myself. I was, I was happy to find myself at the end. But little did Chris know, he had to take his own advice. I'm scared that I won't know true happiness. I'm scared that I won't know true beauty or love. We build walls, defense mechanisms, and eventually you adopt them so deeply and you start thinking that's who you are. I think we're all looking to find out who we're supposed to be, the definition of joy and love. For years, Chris told himself he needed someone else to make him happy. I, I had certain beliefs and desires and I wanted to be a certain type of person. And I think back to all the amount of time I've probably spent suffering as a result of brain noise, hours of my life wasted. With Scarlett's support, Chris ended his on and off relationship.
I'm a really big believer in loving yourself before you, you can give love to somebody else. It was time for him to find happiness within himself. And it's not quitting, it's not giving up, it's not washing your hands of the thought, it's rising above it. Once Scarlett and Chris found true happiness, they shine like never before. And I could suddenly see you from a totally different perspective coming into your own in a lot of ways as an actor and you have a confidence about you that allows you to also be vulnerable and it's also okay. Today, Scarlett and Chris continue to bring balance to each other's lives while their friendship remains as strong as ever. He's like a brother, like the big sort of somehow younger, a little bit annoying, but always charming brother. I just know her inside out. She's one of my best friends and oh, that's great. it just works. Sometimes the ones closest to you show you a strength you never saw in yourself. And even the toughest journey feels lighter with a true friend by your side. You've experienced so many changes in 10 years. Love and loss and I think you know yourself better and I see that in Chris professionally and then probably also just in his life. But he's always maintained a sincerity that I've been drawn to. And It's okay to be where I am. That mentality has, has gone a long way for me. It is all about, you know, what you have with another person. That's the magic that happens. This person receiving you and you receiving them and making this beautiful shape with somebody else.